just out hiking at Shaver Lake on the north side of the lake. There's a road with some trails, so we figured we'd check them out. Brought our fishing poles, of course, for looks, because as we all know, I can never catch a fish. But we also brought some food for lunch, and uh, yeah. Nice brisk morning. It's brisk. That's brisk, baby. You were probably too young for that commercial. It was a Lipton iced tea, but it was claymation. And it was Rocky, like from the Rocky movies, you know, fighting in the in the ring. And it's the coach. He's like, here, you need some of this. And he takes a drink of it and he's like, whoa, that's brisk, baby. Yo, that's brisk, baby. Yeah, that's what that's what happened. Well, we managed to find the other end of the perimeter trail. So that's kind of cool. So we're going to hopefully get around the other side of it where we left off on our last time when we were out here. We'll see what we can find. This is pretty cool. Oh man, I love the outdoors. Just being in the trees. cool you guys check this out check this out Got oh that's some really cool deer tracks here that's pretty awesome that is pretty cool well, I've never seen it. what at least in real life I've never seen a bear yeah bears in real life yeah. are pretty scary well, black bears, I imagine not as much because they are the ones that are scared by loud noises. It's grizzly bears that you should be afraid of. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure I would be afraid of any bear. And it was close enough to me for me to see it. And mostly <sighs> black bears just eat bugs and berries and so they're not really as threatening to humans as grizzly bears, which primarily live in like Alaska and stuff. Uh, well, California has grizzly bears. Yeah, a few, but not as many as like... How many? You think like seven? Yeah, yeah. Or ten, maybe? Yeah. Ten grizzly bears in our beautiful state of California. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> but I know there's a lot more black bears than there are grizzly bears. Did you hear that? Huh? Did you hear that? <laughs> kind of counterintuitive. <laughs> counter yeah, maybe not counterintuitive. But For what? I don't, I don't know. We're stop stopping. Yeah. If we cease to desist, or whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Woohoo! Ha! <laughs> I didn't die. All right. Woo! <sighs> Dang, that was crazy. That wasn't even snow or nothing, man. That was just dirt. How we've made it up this far. I, I don't understand how I've made it this far in life. 
Oh, oh boy. What an adventure. <laughs> I'm following in his footsteps. Literally following in the footsteps. That was a wide one. Okay, so I'm not really following his footsteps anymore. Wait a minute. What is that? Some kind of like raccoon trail? Or... Chair? Raccoon? raccoon chair? Raccoon trail? I don't know. It's one foot. So like, did it just land here and then fly away? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is this the flying raccoon land? Yeah. That's really strange. But look at how beautiful it is out there, man. Oh, well. And you see through the trees and such, but rest assured it is. Well, cameraman, are you enjoying the hike? Not holding the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... The no camera man? The, the no camera uh -oh. man? <laughs> I'm multi-purpose. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. I dropped oh, it. I dropped it. Oh. I had one job. Boo. Did you drink all the water already? Yep. Oh, this guy. Snoozy loozy. Snooze? I went and got the water last time. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Well, just go get more water. Yeah. Have to boil up some snow or something. I don't know. I'm gonna die out here from thirst, and this guy's bloated up. I ain't even holding the camera. What kind of cameraman drinks all the water? He's the water man, the water drinker. That's his official, official job title. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. Whew. Can you keep the camera? If you want. I'll be the cameraman. Actually. Finally, I mean, you know, brought you out here to be the cameraman. I mean, yeah. I'm paying you, so yeah. you might as well do some work. Look at that one rock out there. There's one poor little isolated rock. We should do an overnight at Twin Lakes. We should also do an overnight at uh, Coyote yeah. Lake. I think Coyote would probably be a two day or three day. Because mm -hmm. I think we have to dedicate an entire day to one way hiking. Oh yeah, that's true. So we hike for a day. Uh -huh. uh, set up for That could night. be our it's a th thousand subscriber milestone. Yeah. Hey, you know what? That's a good idea. Coyote Lake, it's a 20 mile out and back hike. Dude, this might be the spot. But it's a 20 really mile pretty. out and back hike. And <sighs> thousand subscribers, I'll do that for you guys. Hey, we're getting close to the lake, I think. Ooh, what's that? Um. Oh no, a tree has fallen in our path. What shall we do? Oh, is it still recording? Uh, yeah. I think so. Boy. <laughs> you see, this is kind of how I imagined the trail would be. Trail like? Yes. Like trails? Yes, like a trail.
I think it's getting to be about lunchtime. I think what we need to do is up around here, it's gonna curve back around and it should get fairly close to the water. And I think that's where we're gonna have to call it. It's almost four miles, so it's not too bad. So we'll get down there and see if we can catch us a fish for lunch. But also just make the food we brought because you know. We take the trail? I don't know. The, or the trail. Right. Hmm. So let's take the trail. What do you say, cameraman? Yeah. That's a good idea. Okay, well, cameraman's approval. Off we go. If we get lost, at least we'll get some pretty good footage for future generations to find. And uh, let the record show that it's his fault. We have lived a good life. All right, so we got our little copper fish hook on here. Copper little fishy guy. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but we're gonna see if we can't get some good action out of that. Maybe turn up a fish or two, or at least one would be nice. Okay, now, as we all know, we don't die. All right, this ain't too bad. Eh. Got my net handy, ready to go. Let's see what kind of action we get in this. Now, oh, let's let a little more line out here. Let's see. Hey, that ain't bad. Okay. We'll see how that goes. Got some good weight to it, so hopefully we can get some good distance. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Let that guy sink for a minute. It's supposed to be some pretty deep water right here. I've heard that it's 30 to 50 feet right here. So we'll see what we can do. Get everything out of the way. Oh, all right. Okay, that's ready to go. Let's get some water going here. Let's see what we brought for lunch. We've got some Ready Wise mac and cheese and some Mountain House spicy Southwest skillet. All right, let's check that water. Almost boiling, so we're getting there. All right. Hey, that doesn't actually look too bad. Open up the mac and cheese. Because I think this water's about hot. All right, well, now that our food, our first entree, course, whatever you want to call it, is ready, let's pray and we can eat. 
Oh, Lord God, our Father, we just thank you so much for this day and this opportunity, Lord, to enjoy the beautiful outdoors that you have created for us. Lord, we thank you for this food. Ask that you bless it to our bodies, Lord. Bless those that worked hard to prepare it and get it for us ready to eat. And God, we just ask that you continue to keep us safe on our hike. Help us to get back to the car safely, Lord. And we just love you and thank you so much for all that you do for us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's see. You want to try it, and then if we need to, we can add some of our HB seasoning. Yeah. Hike spikes and seasonings. It actually looks pretty good. Maybe it's just because I'm hungry. But hey, four and a half miles. One way. Yeah. Yeah, so. All right, well, we're going to enjoy our food. See you guys on the trail. Well guys, we made it back to the car, and we didn't die. Didn't catch any fish, but we did have a pretty good lunch. Had some mac and cheese and a Southwest skillet that was greatly enhanced by our Hikes and Bikes custom Secret rub. Sauce. Secret seasoning, it's not a sauce, it's but a powder. you gotta have it sauce to make it sound cliche. Well, I don't know, he's the cameraman, he's not the writer, so we're gonna work on that. But. Thanks for joining us here today, guys. Uh, enjoyed our time here at Shaver Lake. We definitely had some fun. Got about an eight mile hike in. And now I'm tired, so I'm gonna go home and go to bed. <laughs>